Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And it is day five here on our exploration to the moon, where we want to set up a moon base. Well, if you remember in the last episode, I was kind of talking about the area being kind of devoid of space pirates and unknown signals and whatnot. The only thing that we were getting, and let me bring up my uh, inventory or my GPS, the only thing that we were getting was an unidentified signal, and that was very few. Well, as it turns out, the contact update pretty much nerfed everything as far as space pirates and stuff, and you basically had to start over. And so what I managed to do was capture everything that I could to get back to just about where I was at in the scenario. And I managed to get everything except my GPS coordinates and some of the ore deposits that I had found. So we are actually, if we look at our inventory, you can see I still have all of my ores in here. Uh, plus I found platinum on this asteroid where we're parked at. And you can see I have my basic refinery, all of my other items that I have picked up along the way, and I've managed to get my equipment back to enhanced. So we're really not too far off from where we were at when I finished the last one. I am going to go over here and get this uh, unknown signal, and let's uh, see if we can uh, get it. Bring up the grinder. This would have been from when I quit the game or once I got it reset up. So we're going to go ahead and grab this. And we're also going to get out here and see if we can't see where the moon is. Uh, there's the sun. There's the moon right there. So we are getting much closer. And I was thinking that we've got platinum and I believe silicon on this particular asteroid that we're looking at. I might want to move just a little bit closer. Then it'll be time to start making our outpost. Because we want to have an outpost available. So if we run into any difficulties, it's kind of a, a retreat that we can go to. Let's see what we got here. See if they've got anything of value, uh, credits, and construction components. All right. So let's uh, kind of do this. I like to get the canvas out of there too, so I got to be careful that I don't grind that the parachute hatch. Bring these out. I think the parachute hatch is hidden behind the battery here. Okay, I gotta get that light. And I think I can get into it. I don't wanna. There we go. I should be able to get into there. There we go. We grab that canvas. That's got silicon and stuff in it, so it's kind of handy if you're low on silicon. Now, we supposedly found a silicon in that rock, that asteroid, where we're parked at. And... Uh... That, uh, but I haven't been able to locate it yet. All right, there's that. So I'm going to head back over here. And we're going to store these supplies that we just got. And then we're going to move out into the sun so that our batteries can recharge and, and whatnot. So... And then I think 
what I want to do is move on to another asteroid a little bit closer to the moon. I was thinking about building it here, but I think we need to get just a little bit closer. And there's our ship here in the shadow. Yeah, you can see where I was digging in, trying to find that uh, silicon. It's in there someplace, so I just left that as mark. So we can always come back if we get a better tool and see if we can't find it. All right, let's uh, put these parts away. Throw that in here. Those, put all that in there. There we go. And let's go hop into the pilot seat. As you can see, well, I got the ore detector on, and you can kind of see that the, it's showing silicon in there. I just I couldn't locate it with the enhanced drill that I have. does it not be good to crash this thing all right it's kind of hoping to hit an asteroid with some iron on it we are starting to get close and I see a couple of asteroids one Kind of down to the right down there and one kind of right straight kind of dead ahead up there so we're gonna head for that one right there when i get to that asteroid uh i'll catch back up with you but we're gonna i think we're getting well close enough that we need to start putting our outpost in so we're gonna cruise on over there so i'll be back with you here in just a little bit well, I managed to make it over to these asteroids, and I've been doing a little bit of exploring around. I've gotten a couple of more unknown uh, signals, and we did have a private sail go by. I don't know if it is still out here. Uh, so there is a little more activity uh, here uh, in this build, so we just don't see much in the way of space pirates. So I guess... Uh, the space pirates have been kind of nerfed out somewhat, but that's okay. We'll uh, deal with them. Uh, hopefully we can get some of that uh, uh, contact, some of those, uh, I guess it is more technology. So hopefully we can get some of that new technology once we get settled down onto the moon. Uh, let's hop out of the seat here. Uh, juiced up. All right. Head out. So I have managed to explore a couple of the asteroids around here. That one has magnesium. And that one over there has nickel. So, and the moon's right there. So I'm thinking that one of these asteroids right in this general location is going to be good for an uh, outpost. I would like to find one that has iron on it and maybe I'm I'm going to cruise over to these two asteroids right over there and see if there's anything on it. So we hit Z, turn the dampeners off and let's get uh, cruising over here. They're not that far away and I just find it easier than instead of trying to maneuver the ship over to these to just uh, fly around with the enhanced drill 
and hopefully pick up uh, what we need because we don't need the real exotic ores yet such as gold and stuff like that uh, we did get a little uh, bit of silver and I still have that from the previous build so uh, hopefully that will suffice for now uh, I should see if I can't build a little better drill and once we get back I'll do that these splintered asteroids like this usually is a little easier to detect stuff on because the bits and pieces like here nickel and cobalt so let's go ahead and mark that uh, let's see GPS new current and we've got uh, nickel and cobalt. Oh, dang it. All right, let's try this again. Nickel and cobalt. All right, and it looks like we got another unknown signal. Uh, I really would like to find iron. I don't think I have found any yet let's check i can't remember everything uh, i did get some iron quite a ways back but i was hoping to get some a little bit closer so we do have some iron deposits if that's what we end up having to do but let's uh let's fly right over here and see if i see something i almost messed up there color up here and we've got more nickel now that might be what do we got here oh we got iron excellent all right this is going to be our source of iron now we just got to decide which asteroid we want to build our outpost on so let me go ahead and mark this new current and let's go press all right that I think what I'll do is turn these off that way it'll make it a little bit easier okay and our ships right there so this asteroid has iron and nickel but it is kind of fragmented. I see something. Oh, yeah, that's more nickel right here. Uh, a little fragmented out to be building on, but there is... I see another patch of iron. Let's mark this one. Yeah, more iron. I need to see more in here. Yeah, another big patch of iron. All right, let's mark this. Current. Let's call it FE2. Yeah, okay, that works. Okay. Uh, that unknown signal at. Might as well get it. And out of these asteroids. Uh, the ship is over there. Eh, that's a little ways away. Let's not, uh, mess with it this time all right so we've been to that one that one just been over here
get back to the ship. We'll get recharged up. And I'd like to go check those out down there. And... think one of these will be a good spot for a base or for an outpost. Okay, we're almost back. Alright, we'll get on the ship, get charged up. while our, we've been able to get out into the sun. So we've been able to have our batteries get charged up or stay charged up. I did get a little bit of a break when I had to spawn this ship in. They came in fully charged, so, uh, but that's okay. We'll end up using them. So we can take a look at those if we go to our control panel. We will see our battery A is at stored power 2.81 and fully recharged in three hours so these are back up i think we were at somewhere about 1.8 or something like that in the last episode actually i think we were lower than that i think we were below one megawatt on both of the batteries but that's okay we're getting those charged up keeping them charged up so that'll be good all right let me drop off. Oh, I don't have anything to drop off. We're just coming over here to get recharged. Go in, get recharged. All right, I tell you what, I'm going to get recharged. I'm going to go out and explore a couple of more asteroids. And once I get those checked out, I will uh, catch back up with you and we'll decide exactly which one we're going to start building our outpost on. Okay, I am back here at the ship. I did some more exploring, and uh, I did find silicon, and I found ice. So we have iron, we have nickel, we have silicon, we have cobalt, and we have ice. Those are the main basics that we need uh, for building and getting a a good base established. I also had identified some platinum uh, along the way, so that's not all that far back there. So this is uh, pretty good. So we kind of swing, swing around while the ship's there. Uh, I think you can kind of see we've got the nickel, cobalt, and then iron down there. Uh, back behind us, we've got nickel, and then off over in that direction we've got the ice and the silicon which is about 12 kilometers away and then our platinum is about 10 uh, kilometers away so we have pretty much everything all the resources that we need for now now we just got to decide which asteroid I want to build this in so I'm gonna hop back inside the cab let's hop out and so that we can get a better view of these different asteroids door with all of our oxygen so the moon's right there which isn't too far away i'm actually thinking this asteroid over here which is a fairly solid block if we oh, you know what one thing i gotta do at some point is build an antenna and stuff on here uh, since i moved this i need to this. Let's uh, go to the GPS. I need to delete this and put a new one in for Otherwise, we'll be lost. Lost in space with no ship. And that would not be a good thing. So I'm thinking this one over here is actually going to be a pretty good one to, to build on. It's fairly large. It does have part of it hollowed out. So I don't know how effective that will be. So if we come over here and we 
fly around this thing. This is where the magnesium is as well. The magnesium is inside this hollowed out spot. So it's kind of hard to see. But if we come down here, you can kind of see a big patch of magnesium here. Uh, that was the only thing I picked up in here. But as you can see, it's fairly hollowed out. Uh, we got an unidentified signal that popped up. Uh, and I think that's that new technology. I'm hoping we're going to get some of that on the moon, but we'll see. So, it's got a nice opening all the way through. Uh, we just came over to the dark side, so let's fly back over here to the where the sun's at. And then we can kind of see it from the outside here. It would be nice, I'm thinking that it, somewhere down at the bottom of this. So I'm going to go and grab the ship, bring it back over here. It's just an outpost. So we're, all we're going to do is just kind of hollow out a spot in here and put in ba uh, a refinery and an assembler. Uh, we're going to put a survival kit in here and see if we can't. Uh, a couple of batteries and some hydrogen engines and then put like a solar panel up uh, build a kind of a docking bay so that uh, when we're flying through we can uh, dock and that sort of thing so that's what we're going to do here just as an outpost again it'll give us a secondary spawn point if we get beat up but obviously at least that was the plan i was worried about uh space pirates but it doesn't look like we're going to get much in the way of space pirates so uh we're probably going to be fairly safe from them all right you know what i'm going to fly over here and get this unknown signal not that far over here you could grab it hopefully it's not one of those that are propelled Okay. Oh. I got a couple of plushies too, though. So, that's not bad. Alright, let's see. Where is the... Ah, computers. That's good. That'll help with the assembler. All right, so we can capture all of this. Here we go. All right. All right, let's go back to the ship, and we'll move it over towards the asteroid. I'll catch back up to you once I get to the asteroid. Okay, I have managed to move over here to the asteroid. We've got the ship kind of parked right there. So we're going to work from there. First thing I've got to do, though, is build a regular assembler. And I believe we're pretty close to having most all of the parts that we need. So let's do this. Uh, let's uh, get into here. Uh, production blocks and I might have lost some of my progression so I may have to let's see the assembler is going to give me everything down here I may have to redo this basic assembler and actually that's what I'm going to do well here's what I'm going to do let's go up here so that we can get our progression let's uh, just grind this down because I think if we do this below the hack line and then let's rebuild it and that's unlocked stuff that we would have already had alright 
So if we go back to our G, and we go back to our progression, we can see that all of this is now unlocked, which would have, we would have already had that unlocked. So the other thing we need to do, and let's take a look at, so we're gonna build this, so we've unlocked our assembler. Uh, we still need to build a battery, which we will. Uh, I, uh, basic assembler, which would have unlocked all of this down here. So let's do that with the basic assembler, and that would be the main things that we would have already had unlocked on our progression. So that'll get us back to what we need to do. Uh, I should be able to just kind of grind this down just below the hack line. There we go. Now we should be able to build this back. And I've unlocked new blocks, which is what we would have been at. All right. And I got another unknown signal. I'll probably go after here. But let's do this now. We should be able to bring down G. Uh, let's go to our production. Boy, they changed up all of this on me. So I am trying to learn where everything's at. So we want a assembler. So let's drop it down here where the basic assembler was. Uh, oh, I need some steel plates. We should be able to get those right here. Let's grab uh, some steel plates. And should be fine. Okay. So, this basic assembler, we've got... Uh, so, we got ports there. There. All right, I want to make sure we, let's, I'll just spin these around, I thought. So we got a port on both ends and a port there, a port there, nothing there, so what I want to be able to do is put a connector to this and I'll show you why once we get this uh, built up if we flip this around like that that should work there and then we should have that let's see if we can rotate that so there's a connector or a port right there and there's a port so if we flip this like that we should be able to put that in right there. And then I am going to have a connector underneath here. So let's, uh, let's hopefully, let's do that. And then, cannot, uh, oh, metal grids. So I believe we can produce metal grids in the basic. And we need 10 of those that we should have enough materials to do that this will give us our 10 metal grids that we need okay now we got all right let's build this assembler and then this will give us the ability to pretty much build all the parts that we need Okay, almost built, there it is. All right, and then we're gonna be able to access this from uh, the other ports up there, but if we go in here, we can look at our production, and so this gives us all kinds of stuff. If we go over to the basic assembler, you can see it doesn't quite give us everything. So the additional stuff that we get with the regular assembler 
is going to be like the thruster components and the reactor components. Uh, all of this uh, additional, like the gravity components. The next level up of parts that we're going to want to have when we get ready to build. Also, what I wanted to do was see... I wanted to at least... Can I build that? Do I have enough parts? Oh, I don't have my assembler. Or I don't have silver. I thought I had silver. Oh, maybe I do. I just can't produce it yet. And we're not going to be able to produce that until I get a regular refinery built. We have the silver ore, I believe. So let's go over here and land. Let's uh, check. I do. I have silver ore right here. I just can't refine it. Same with the platinum until I get a refinery. And that's what this outpost is going to provide us. Alright. I am going to fly over here and get this unknown signal. Once I get it, get back, then we're going to start... Uh, laying out how we want the outpost so I'll be back with you here in just a little bit well we've got the uh, very beginnings of the outpost I've started to put uh, drill out a tunnel into the asteroid and then I'll continually expand on it as I build this out so it'll probably be about uh, 15 or 20 blocks in, maybe a little longer, uh, enough to be able to put, and then hollow this out to be able to put uh, a full refinery and a full assembler in here, along with a couple of cargo blocks. Uh, probably we'll put, I don't know if I'll create an airtight compartment in here. I probably should. The whole thing will not be airtight. It'll just be uh, one small room that uh, when you come here uh, on your stop that you can get in and be able to uh, get out of the atmosphere or out of the void and into some atmosphere. Uh, let's see. So I think we are kind of getting close. It would be nice if the sun was still shining over here when we first got here otherwise it's pretty damn dark but you can see there's the moon right there so I think that's going to be fairly close uh, once we start heading for it and I'm probably looking at uh, trying to establish a base towards one of the poles somewhere in there because I think there's a little more ice in that area uh, I think though that we are going to probably call the video good here pretty quick. Uh, we've been playing for a bit. We've managed to find some more ores. Let me kind of get back over here to the ship. We bought, got a uh, full assembler built on here so that we can make our parts. And then the first thing we're going to do is uh, get that base built out. So let's go inside. I need to get some energy anyway. And get in here. Let's hop in the seat. And then we can kind of go outside. I don't know if we can see. Let me do this. Let's turn the light on. There we go. So we kind of see. Let's see if we can kind of move this over a little bit. Maybe drop it down a little bit. There it is. There's where our base is. Outpost is starting to take shape. Uh, I think it's up. If we can't get in line with it. leveled off over here kind of facing it that way we're fairly close to the ship as we start needing parts and stuff all right I think we'll park it right there I 
need to fix my GPS, at least for now, put a new current, that way we can find our ship. All right. Well, I think that's about going to do it. Uh, I'm charged up. Let me hop out of the seat and step back off over here. Well, I think that's going to conclude it. All right. Well, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out the video a lot. And please subscribe. That'll really help the channel. All right, all you space engineers out there, keep your heads low, keep building away, and don't get shot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.